Okay, Rob, we're on to number six. Okay. Start with the leaders, don't start with the teams. Mm -hmm. And we've seen this time and time and again where all these executives get highly excited about Agile and then they look at the training and mm. all the training programs are all about teams. Mm. So they pack up their teams and they ship them off for training and then they all come back and the leaders have no idea what they're talking yeah. about. And there's then, in fact, the leaders have to resent a lot of the things that the teams say. Mm. What we found is a very successful pattern is that the leaders actually start to get the training first because what's important here is it's the leadership that defines the kind of behaviors that shapes the culture that really allows Agile to thrive. Absolutely. Ron, this is something, we were talking about this earlier, and I think you nailed it for me when, when you said, um, if, you, if you want a whole bunch of douchebags working in the organization, then, then have a douchebag leading the organization, right. right? Because they're going to mirror the type of organization that they end up with. Yeah. So if we want an organization that's going to be um, Agile in mindset, Agile in, in being, uh, if we want an organization that's going to be delivering on all the promises that this provides, then we need to start with the leadership team. And often I will say, um, I've noticed in many of our client organizations that what they do is they tell their teams, I want you to think more agile. I want you to have an agile mindset. But then what they do is they put in place constraints to make that reality. So they're saying, think different, but behave the same. Yeah. Right? Behave like me. So what we need to do is we need to start with them, help yeah. them understand what this change looks like. Also in some of our organizations, we've seen uh, the need to train agile leaders um, in the use of agile yeah. so that they're half a step ahead of the teams. Yeah. And really that's just a change management activity. That's mm -hmm. just making sure that the, the leaders feel comfortable about implementing this agile thing. Mm -hmm. and, um, and often leaders aren't comfortable with um, significant change and especially in the agile mindset sort of space. So. Mm -hmm. Um, this is more of a change management program as opposed to actually educating them about what are we actually asking our teams to do? What do we want of our of our cohort? What do yeah. we want of our environment? Yeah. So starting with the leaders means don't just train them. Yeah. It means educate them. And so with that said, I would say start with the managers because mm -hmm. the managers lead the shift.